Test of the weekend, the R5 final showdown between Andrea Craniola in the VW and Luca Rossetti in the Citroen. Both men had come through a series of heats and a semi-final to reach this stage, fending off the 10 other frontrunners that had made it through to the Masters show, including Piero Longhi, Marco Bonanomi and Andrea Nicita. Rossetti had previously made it through to the final in 2016, losing out on that occasion to multiple Italian champion Paolo Andreucci. Rossetti knew that he'd have to drive to the limit to have any chance of challenging Craniola, who had been blisteringly quick in the qualifiers, setting a time over the two lap heats that was more than two seconds faster than anybody else, and going even more rapidly in his semi-final. True to his word, at the end of the rally, Craniola was clearly not finished yet, and few doubted that he could do this, especially given that he'd won the previous two Masters shows in the R5 class. In Rossetti, though, he faced a worthy opponent. Although he hadn't enjoyed much success in this year's rally, he previously finished on the R5 class podium in 2014, beaten only by that man Andreucci. And the Citroen certainly seemed to be well balanced as the Italian danced his way through the hairpins. Accelerating onto the start-finish straight and trying to make up time, having been down on Craniola at the end of the first time check. But once again, Craniola looked flawless, the very picture of controlled aggression. He'd been on unbeatable form in the rally, and now he was about to blast his way to another success. Victory in the Masters show, and by a huge margin. Craniola winning the Marco Simoncelli trophy, awarded in honor of the late great motorcycle racing hero. He celebrated with a flamboyant 360, slid to a halt and got out of the car to rapturous applause from the fans in the grandstand, even finding the time to dig out a special pair of victory glasses. At least we're pretty sure he wasn't wearing them when he was driving. Three Masters titles on the trot for Craniola and each time in a different car and with a different co-driver, proving that sometimes instability can be a good thing.